Hi everyone, I'm Lori from The Way of Positive Change and I'm here to do another crystal video for you. I previously recorded two other videos on crystals. One was on uh, green adventuring for increased prosperity, heart health and how to use it as a shield, wearing it over your heart for protection, especially uh, if you are an empath, a reader or a healer. And the other one I did, the very first one, um, was on my top three favorite crystals that I like to use for protection, healing, and balance. And they're black tourmaline, amethyst, and selenite. I also explained the feng shui placement best suited to raise the vibration in your homes on both of these videos. I will post a link to both of those videos in the description box below this video. Okay, and just a reminder, please give the video a thumbs up to help others find and join our spiritual community, and thank you very much. It really does help. Today's video, we will be working with and learning about three crystals I've chosen to raise our vibrations in the romance department of our lives and homes. And the three crystals I've chosen are rose quartz and rhodochrosite and moonstone. I'll describe the attributes of all three of these and then discuss placement in your home. So let's take a, a look first at the rose quartz right here. Um, and I just want to remind you, if you haven't watched the other two videos, that um, it doesn't matter whether these crystals are rough or smooth or big or small. Um, they work just the same. So rose quartz I chose uh, because it promotes self-love. It helps boost our self-esteem and raises our vibration level to help attract another healthy vibrating soul, right? It mostly works on our fourth chakra, the heart chakra. All right, and the second crystal right here is the moonstone. And I have two colors shown here, the rainbow, the rainbow white, and then also the dark gray black. It also comes, uh, it has varying shades of peach as well. However, for this uh, placement, I choose these two colors. It's always been a sacred stone, moonstone, with special significance for lovers. In many cultures, it has been used as a traditional wedding gift, as it helps bring harmony to marriages, and it also aids in reconcili reconciliation with estranged partners. Um, it's also known to promote psychic dreams and helps link us with our twin flames. And that's a big thing. A lot of us are looking for twin flames or uh, seeking to reunite with them. It works in the sixth and seventh brow and uh, crown chakras. Um, and so that's very helpful when we ma match those together with the fourth chakra for the rose quartz. And last but not least, I've chosen the rhodochrosite. Um, it's spelled R-H-O-D-O-C-R-O-S-I-T-E. It has, uh, it's predominantly pink, pink and white, and it has bands of black and deeper pink um, floating through it. Um, and no stone is the same, no crystal is the same. Um, I've chosen it specifically as it promotes healing um, for old emotional wounds. Um, transforming that energy, healing that energy and transforming that energy to one of forgiveness. And that's huge. So that helps raise our vibration and it helps facilitate the energy of new beginnings for love. So I chose it for release of the old and new beginnings for love. It works mostly with the root, the solar and the heart chakra as well. So we've got almost all of them covered there, right? And forgiveness uh, is usually found in the third, but we've, we're releasing it with this uh, rhodochrosite. So that's very important. So, um, and I forgot to say, you know, the rose quartz is mostly, it's, it's pink. It's varying pink. This one's a little bit lavender, but mostly it's a very light, um, loving pink energy in, co in color. Um, for feng shui, feng shui placement in your home to raise the vibration, you want to uh, look at, stand in the road and face your apartment, condo, or home and seek uh, to look to the back 
most back right hand corner of your home um, and then extend that even to the back right corner of your yard or parking lot um, and you want to when you when you understand which corner this is in your home you want to make sure that you clear out those corners you clear out any clutter so on the outside you want to clear a uh, brush or trash or or anything you have in the yard and in the inside of the house on that far back right corner you want to clear clear the clutter you know uh, move your stuff change your life right okay so uh, you want to place two of each of these stones first in that corner of your home we want to work in the home first and if you have any left over then you can place it in that right uh, back corner um, in your yard but I would start with two of each in the home in the right back corner okay so hopefully that will help us I was trying to do this around Valentine's Day but I my brother was here and uh, and most of you know that watch the other videos I had a big dental surgery and that really knocked the stuff in this out of me I'm still recovering okay you guys I hope this was helpful um, oh I also wanted to add if you wanted to do some green African jade that would be helpful too but I chose those three because we want to raise that vibration so high that we are attracting someone that's already vibrating at that nice high loving energy into your into our lives okay I hope that was helpful give me a thumbs up Leave me any comments. Um, much love to you all. Thanks. Bye-bye.